everybody welcome back to another fantasy wax melts new releases video i am super excited for this week's release today's release today everything will be live today january 6th i almost said october january 6th at 3 p.m central time on our etsy shop which will be linked down below as well as our facebook group which you should absolutely join and our instagram which you should definitely follow so Today's release is another Harry Potter themed release. We have been doing these for a while now and they are some of my favorites and I know they are some of your favorites as well. So I always try to kind of go above and beyond with this release. So this is the Order of the Phoenix themed release. And I'm very, very excited. I do also want to state, I currently have seasonal allergies, so if I look, if I sound terrible, it's because that's how I feel. But I have seasonal allergies right now and they are killing me. They're pretty brutal. But anyway, so. Harry Potter, Order of the Phoenix Collection. I'm very excited. So all of these are themed around the movie and the book. Um, I'm going to not go in any particular order. I am just going to go, I'll start with the new shapes. We do have two new shapes that I'm going to be featuring in this collection. The first are our new wave bars. These are like super chunky, thick, square, kind of like soap mold-esque bars. I think you could get like six good melts out of these. I really like these. So this first one here is in Creature, which is the house elf for the Black family. This is in the blend French Baguette and Brown Sugar. I feel like French Baguette and Brown Sugar should absolutely always go together. The sort of kind of yeasty saltiness of the French Baguette mixed with that like brown sugar, which is a very like kind of sweeter bakery note. I think it really makes a fantastic combo. So this is Creature. Mm, that is just so good. So again, French baguette and brown sugar. The other wave bar we'll be featuring is Department of Mysteries, and this is a really pretty blue. This is in Spearmint and Vanilla Bean Noel. This is actually probably be perfect for me right now. So Spearmint is exactly as it sounds. It does smell like the Spearmint gum, but I really wanted to tone that down a tiny bit. So adding the Vanilla Bean Noel, I think adds a really nice sort of creaminess to this and gives a really nice kind of, I don't want to say gentle, mint but it is more of like a less harsh spearmint oh but it smells so good and you can totally smell the vanilla bean noel very creamy very delicious i do really enjoy this one so that is department of mysteries so those are the two wave bars we will also be featuring two pack donuts I think these are really awesome. The donut shape is perfect to be cut into fours. You could even cut this into six as well. And it is a two pack, so you will get two donuts per pack. So the first one is in He's Back, which is a quote that the Minister of Magic says like at the very end of the movie. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to add that. So this is in Apple Cinnamon Streusel and Zucchini Bread. I feel like we've been doing a lot of apple something and Zucchini Bread, and you guys have really seemed to enjoy that. And I feel like Apple Cinnamon Streusel with zucchini bread it's a combo it's fantastic so if you liked any of our other previous apple fritter no apple strudel was it strudel yes and we also did do apple fritter with zucchini bread you'll like this as well it just has a little extra cinnamony note it's not spicy it's very very nice i do really enjoy that one so really enjoy that one i think i said that a little bit weird but this is he's back and then the other two-pack donut, they're both gray, but this one is a lighter gray. This one is a darker two-pack donut. This is in Thestral. Oh, I love Thestral. This is in Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Toasted Mallow. I feel like Palo Santo is so good mixed with bakery. I think Palo Santo and Sugar Cookie Royale in general are just like a really great combo. Add in that Toasted Mallow, it adds a really good extra kind of like not necessarily smoky note, but the toasted malo with the palo adds a little bit extra masculine to bakery. Does that make sense? But it's so good. This is so good. This like gives me very winter vibes as well. I kind of wanted to go a little bit more wintry since we are in January for some of the things as well. So this one, the spearmint, I was also trying to think more like what would you guys want to melt in the winter time? And I feel like those are two very good scents for that. And then everything else is a shape we have shown before. So the first one here we have are the two pack tarts. I love these tarts. Our tarts are quite large. This is in Bellatrix Lestrange, which is blackberry jam butter cookies and vanilla pound cake. I've heard you guys after Kirsten's fave, y'all love blackberry jam butter cookies. Obviously, so do I. So mixing it with vanilla pound cake, I feel like adds another extra sort of like note that enhances the blackberry jam butter cookies, if that makes any sense. Like 
it's so good it just adds a little extra something to it it's fantastic that is available in our two-pack tarts and that is bellatrix lestrange and then we have our xl snap bar i just love the shape of this you only need like one little piece of this and because these are so thick and you get so many and this is some of my favorite i just love this shape so this is the xl snap bar this is in luna love good this is booberry which is the cereal fruit loops and sugar milk this is what i was explaining to avery is the ultimate cereal scent and i did it on purpose luna love good and it just smells so good like this is literally the ultimate cereal you get two really amazing cereal scent notes mix in that sugar milk it smells like a freshly poured like perfect bowl of cereal Oh my gosh, if you're a cereal lover, you're going to absolutely love this. This is so, so good. So that is Luna Lovegood. Then we have, I'll do our clamshell next. So we do have a clamshell, and this is the Order of the Phoenix, which is like the secret society. And this is in Hot Orange Danish and Tea and Cakes. I really wanted to do this combination for a while because I feel like Tea and Cakes does have a citrusy note to it. So mixing in that sort of Hot Orange Danish kind of adds like an extra bit of citrus. And it's so good we did it in yellow mm. it's so citrusy and bright and just i really love this one i feel like this would be such a good like morning daytime melt i absolutely love this one so this is the order of the phoenix next we have a couple mini chunk bags because i know you guys absolutely love those we have three of them the first is dolores umbridge which we had to do is pink because i mean the lady wears pink and this is a blend we have done before we featured it in I think our first ever pre-order and it is strawberry white cake and zucchini bread which is a favorite it is so good mmm it's so good I love strawberry white cake and zucchini bread I also feel like this would be a great melt going into Valentine's Day as well if you like that but love that that's Dolores Umbridge the next one we have also ties to her this is I must not tell lies which we did as a red color this is amaretto coffee bean and pizzelle pizzelle is the italian wafer cookie it has like a vanilla buttery kind of like baked note to it and then there's like a little light hint of lemon which i think works really well with the amaretto in the coffee bean oh this one is so good mm. this one is so good every time i smell it i get reminded on how much i love this one because i feel like it kind of goes under the radar as far as like all of these scents for me but this one is so good so that is i must not tell lies and then the last mini chunk bag we have here is Room of Requirement, which I did as a dark green. This one is Buttercream, Wildberry Mousse, and Zucchini Bread. <sighs> I love Wildberry Mousse so much, and I love it mixed with, like, anything. Mix Wildberry Mousse with anything. Mm, this is so good. You can totally smell the buttercream, which I think is so f interesting for me. I know some people, like, you can smell s different scent notes, like different people can. Mixed into blends, I'm sorry. But... The buttercream just stands out so much to me in this and mixing with that wildberry mousse and then you can smell like the base note of the zucchini bread this one is so good so that is room of requirement and then the last but not least we have three snap bars here so the first one here is a dark gray this is 12 grimold place or grimold place i've always said grimold hopefully i said that correctly um this is oh i love this one i'm so excited this is blue sugar warm vanilla sugar and zucchini bread this blend to me is what I want melting in my house whenever anyone comes to visit. It just smells like oh, so homey and like warm and mm, and the blue sugar mixed with that zucchini bread and warm vanilla sugar is so top tier. I just love that so, so much. That is 12 Grimmel Place. The next one we have here is Prophecy. This one is in Baked Apples and Praline Pound Cake. <sighs> Two scent notes I've been dying to use and mixing them together. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so warm. It just smells like a warm hug. It's so good. I love that one so much. So that is Prophecy, again, Baked Apples and Praline Pound Cake. And then last but not least, we have a Dumbledore's Army, which is blue. This one is so fun. This one is in Banana Crepes and French Toast. The ultimate breakfast. It is so good. I love this one so much. Oh, I love Banana Crepes. And then you get that hint of French Toast. I need to use the French Toast oil more often. It is so good. But that is just, oh so good and i thought this would be such a good combo for dumbledore's army because i feel like he's like a little kooky and this is like a little kooky and i really love it so that is everything for our order of the phoenix collection i think this is our biggest 
Harry Potter collection to date. And I mean, like, they're only going to get bigger because the movies only get longer. So I hope you guys are excited about everything as I am. I'm really excited about the new shapes. The two-pack donuts are really fun and exciting. And I feel like these wave bars are just so stinking pretty. I love them so much. But I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Like I said, everything will be live today at 3 p.m. Central Time in our Etsy shop. Be sure to check it out. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.